Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to drive any parameter of your Niagara system with a blueprint. So here you can see I've already uh, created this Niagara particle system, but you can create this Niagara particle system in one of my earlier YouTube tutorials. So um, I'm just going to show you how to drive it with a blueprint. So I'm just going to open up the Niagara particle system here. And if I hit play, you can see the cubes kind of moving around. Yay. And then in order to, yeah, kind of control any parameter of your Niagara system, you just create, a, yeah, a new user parameter. So under user exposed, just hit the plus button, type in float and name it something you won't forget. So in this case, I want to control the noise strength of the curl noise force. So I'm going to call it noise strength. Enter. That's it, right? So if we go to, uh, uh, yeah, one of our forces, in this case, the curl noise force, I'm just going to set the noise strength to our new user parameter. My strength. It's safe. Just going to close it. And now nothing is happening because the noise strength is set to zero. And now we can change that value with a blueprint. So I'm just going to create a new blueprint class. Let's create an actor. Call it whatever. Tut driver or caps. Whoops. Um, and I'm going to straight away throw this blueprint in our level. And let's open up the editor. And the first thing that I want to do is I want this blueprint to reference our Niagara system actor that's active in our level because we want to drive that actor. And the way to do that is to create a variable. Let's call it Niagara ref for reference. And I'm just going to, uh, for the variable type, I'm going to select uh, Niagara actor and then the object reference and i'm gonna select instance editable compile and save cool let's close it for now and in our level editor we now have uh, a default parameter called niagara reference and i'm going to select our very own niagara system actor that's active in our level cool so now that we have our Niagara system in our blueprint, I can just drag it out and get the Niagara system. And then I can set float parameter of our Niagara component. And we have to give it a name. Remember that we gave our user parameter the name noise strength strength now normally that's enough but in this case because we're working with niagara we have to specify uh which group they're in and in this case they're in the group called user so user with uppercase user dot noise strength now it can find it and let's set the yeah let's set the flow to something like eight thousand again and let's set it on event begin play, compile, save. So when we start playing our level, we immediately set this uh, parameter to 8000. So now nothing's happening, but if I hit simulate, boom, they're off. And yeah, that's how you can, uh, that's one way to control your Niagara system with blueprints. And I hope that was helpful. All right, bye.